Today we are going on a trip and we are going back to CRT Paradise and the Music City Multicon and we are bringing some fun stuff with us. First, a 14M2U will be coming. We'll also be bringing a 1342Q. Both of these have been restored. Now, how about this? This is super cool, but we will not be bringing this. Sorry, no, Brutus. He will not be able to come. We will be bringing this, which is a Trinitron. Pretty standard looking 13 inch, except for this one has Yes, it's been RGB mod. It has a SCART input here. And this is a 13M10. We'll also have an opportunity along the way to stop at some great spots in the Nashville area and hopefully do some hunting for things that are retro. For instance, some video games at some local shops and then we'll hit up a couple of Goodwills along the way. All right, there's one more CRT that we'll be bringing to the show because I need to use it for the presentation I'll be giving and uh, the panel I'll be hosting at this convention. And that is this one, uh, Sony PVM 1943MD. And it's basically in pretty darn rough shape. I've never done anything with it except move it a couple times. Got a big chunk of the bezel here missing. And I've never really worked on it. It does work, but we're gonna set this up for the shop class that I'm doing and presentation. I will take some other things like a deflection yoke, an anode cap, and then like a separate Trinitron tube. And that should be really fun to show off to people and go through for the class. Now the class is called How a CRT Works, and it's just gonna be a simple demonstration of myself going through that CRT you just saw. And I'm gonna just talk about how a CRT works, what is actually going on, why it's really the best solution for analog video content if you're interested in that most of the time. And of course, I'm really excited to do that and meet some new people and see who actually shows up to the show. And so it should be a fun experience. It's a brand new presentation I've never given before, so I'm excited to do that. So that's what we're bringing. I've also got a booth set up at the show, so hopefully it'll be some fun stuff going on there and it is in the main game room. And we're definitely gonna check out every CRT at the show and see what's hooked up to it, how it looks. So as we get ready, this is where we're headed. We're headed here to the Farm Bureau Expo Center. It looks like we have a seven and a half hour, 500 mile drive to do today. Or do you want to see somebody who's upset because they don't get to go? Oh my goodness, what are you doing down here, little buddy? Let's get you out of there. Hey, yeah, that's a good boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't go. Let's see. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, good boy. All right, let's get going. All right, you can stop recording now. All right, so we've arrived at our first stop here and it's at this lovely Goodwill. And this is one of the best honey holes in the place that I used to live in Gallatin, Tennessee. And uh, so let's go in here and see if we can find anything today because it's been about a year since I've been back to the store. Now this was actually my best haul from this Goodwill. And these were bought on the day they were put on the shelves, which was 12 10 2020 so almost two years ago now. But every single game was complete and had all the manuals and everything, and they were only $4.99 each. So naturally, it was one of the best pickups and hauls I've ever had in my entire life. So we're going to go check out and see what this Goodwill has, and hopefully we'll have anything close to this would be amazing. This is what it's like shopping in Goodwill in America. Thank you. 
2005 LCD HDMI and over here This must be the best thing probably here. Get that nasty thing. What do you think it's wolf? Wanna sniff? <sighs> Yummy. All right, guys, check it out. This thing works, and for some reason, it still sells for well over $200 pretty regularly on eBay. So it's going to go home with me, but there's not much else here worth looking at. Let's get out of here. All right, we didn't get anything too shocking in that Goodwill this time, unfortunately. But, hey, we still have the whole convention to go and a lot more cool things to look at. I'm going to go ahead now and get cleaned up, and then we can finally go to the convention. All right, we've arrived at the Music City Multicon, and now I'm gonna take you inside, and we're gonna check out my Retro Tech booth. Got my stuff set up, so let's just go ahead and roll right on in there. We got some players. All right, so what I really love about this convention is it's just a big smorgasbord mix of different stuff. I mean, just for example, look, you got my booth, and right next, right next to that, we've got all the racing games for the arcade. I mean, that's pretty sweet. At least I don't have just, you know, some boring vendor next to me or something. But speaking of vendors, we're gonna do a quick walkthrough and see what's going on at the vendor tables next and see if we can just find anything cool. So let's go check that out. Oh, look at this. What we got here? We got some old school toys. 89. That's pretty cool looking Robin. Penguin. I think I used to have this penguin when I was a kid. This would make sense. Like, 89. Yep, I did. I used to have that Batman when I was a kid. This would have been right around the same time that my parents and grandparents would have been buying me this stuff. I know, huh? Hi. Such a mix of different things. Let's see what we got. Oh, look, we got some, we got some high rollers in here. Really Old school cool. Charizards. Let's, let's see. Oh man, look at this. What is that one? So expensive. 
<laughs> you you got to have the diamond in your hands for that one. Look at this one, the Aerodactyl. I know, that's so crazy. Oh, look, here's some packs. Look at that. A $400 pack. What's that one from? Uh, That's a base set, I'm pretty sure. That's pretty crazy. That's a How you doing? Good. What do we got here? What do we got here? Some cool consoles. I love hardware. We have a Gold Star 3DO. That's pretty awesome. And a JVC XI. Oh my gosh, you got a Philips CDI bundle. Where did you come from? Are you local? Oh, okay. It's very cool, man. Thank you. It's the first time I've seen one of those in I don't know how long at a show. Link? <laughs> a SCART cable? Is yeah, it? It's PAL, but it's got a Okay. Kit. Okay, wow, that's cool. PS4. Oh, they got the um, the sports version of the Sega Dreamcast, and then you got the JVC XI with the actual JVC controller. That's another bonus right there. Wow, Vetrix. Sorry. Man. Does the Vetrix work? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it comes with uh, twenty something games and original overlays. Oh, uh, yeah. Reproduction. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Amazing. Wow, wow, wow. What else we got down here? Man, this is some cool stuff. Heavy hitters here like this. A $1,200 PS4 game. I've never even heard of that one. That one must be super rare. Now, these I know are good. Classic Lord of Thunder. Yeah. Under Hotel Mario on the right. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that one. Wow. Holy crap. The CDI, cool. man. Wow. Amazing. Star Fox 2 with the box? Huh. Probably Well, it's been, I know, I doubt that. If it was unopened, it'd be a lot more than that. Wow, so good booths here, good stuff. Definitely paying a premium. I mean, goodness gracious, that Vetrix was $1,200, but I mean, I've never seen any of that stuff. Look, oh, here we go. Controller bins. Yeah, you doing good? Yeah. Were you in uh, Connecticut yeah. this year? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, I was like, look, this looks familiar. I was like, yeah, I'm Steve. Nice to meet you. What are you laughing at? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Those are pretty sweet. Those lights are cool. Those lights are cool. Let's keep rolling, man. Let's see. Oh, look at this. Let's see. Now, we'll know, now, if they did a weapons check, how did they sneak all these in? Oh, this is something I had been wondering about. What is this for? What thrust master? This is what Lewis has been thrusting all about, the Thrustmaster. 80 bucks, man. He would kill me if I bought that for 80 bucks. I don't even have the right system for that. Hey, how y'all doing? Good, how you doing? Oh, pretty good. What does that go to? This is a... Um, Thrustmaster for which... Yeah, this is an Xbox. So oh, Xbox, 360? Uh, I think it's for one. Oh, one, yeah, okay. Yeah, like the one okay. on the side there. Ah... Uh, but yeah, I'll give you a hell of a deal on it. Um, I don't I'm want to take the picture. Oh yeah, well I don't. Yeah. I don't know yet. Uh, if you're in the market for a wheel, the Thrustmasters you can't go wrong with them. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, I'll sell pretty much all the wheels except for the Switch one for sixty bucks. Okay. They take up too much space in the car. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks, man. I'll let you know. I'm. Uh, sure. I've got a. I've, I'm. I'm a panel hoster, so I've got a booth. Oh, for real? Okay. Oh, over. Cool. Um, at the entrance, just with oh, well, some CRTs cool. set up, not selling anything, just um, like. I was about to say, I'll come buy all your stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I get asked about this all the time. I'm like, really? I miss the era where you could just get them all for free all the time. You well, you can. still can. You still can. You just gotta look a lot harder. Yeah, well, you know, eventually yeah. it was gonna be all the good ones are mostly picked through. You can still find good big ones. 
I remember but, back when I had you know, a friend that worked at Goodwill, and they don't take CRTs, right? No, they didn't. I was just like, listen, man, if you sell them all outside, just call me, I'm all up. Just, you don't have to think I'm in the building, just put them yeah. on the side, I'll come pick on. Yeah. Now, that was a sweet gig for a minute, but. Yeah. Uh, Very cool, man. Yeah. yeah, I'll have to come check out your table later. Yeah, I got a couple good CRTs. I got one big PVM over there. Okay. Um, set up. I said we should have cards somewhere. In your yeah, I just grabbed one. Oh, cool. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. Definitely, definitely oh, check it out. I know about that game. I'm Very cool. Too. Sometimes, sometimes it's beer night and you'll have like a few beers. Good stuff. Oh, there's some fresh. Right. What's the game? I bet you I can do it. I bet you I can do it. Mm. Oh. Back in this episode, it mentioned that's, a, that's what we were all expecting. No, it just happened to be a street address. That's uh, only what I expected. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, man. Hi, how are Hi. you? Hi. Controllers. See anything you like? And some wrestling action figures down there. I wish there was something I was exactly looking for, but I don't see anything. What is this? Really? Crazy. Well, that was a look at the vendors. Probably go try to find a good deal. Maybe on that Thrustmaster for the PC. At least that way I could play it pretty easily. But uh, 60 bucks, I'm just not sure if it's really worth that. Pretty rare stuff in there that I don't think I've ever seen. I mean, the CDI bundle but it was PAL and it was $800. And then uh, some of those other things, man, they were just expensive. Good condition, but expensive. But we're gonna have to see what's next because I'm done looking at vendors. All right, this is the biggest part of this entire vlogging video. And that is when I'm gonna go around the show and show you all these amazing CRTs and how they've got them set up. And it's gonna be like the most amazing run through on consumer CRTs you've probably ever experienced. Uh, first off, we're here at the booth and I've got this beat up 1943 MD, but it's a beauty and uh, people really love looking at it. The PVM's just so great, but let's look at some other things around here behind me. First, we'll start, why not just right here? Check this out, man. This is one of these Samsungs. This slim fit CRT with Dolby Digital Surround. Now we get hooked up to it. It's Knuckles Chaotic 32X mushroom style on the Sega Genesis. And I'm gonna guess this is composite video, yep. And that's probably why it looks so slimy. And if we look back here on the label, model is TX T2082 20 inches. And this one, you can't see it very well, but it does support composite video down here, so that's pretty, or component video, I'm sorry. So you could definitely get a better picture on this thing. Next up is a just standard Philips Magnavox Smart Plus series, how about that? We got some goofy fighting sticks from Assyware, of course. I love Assyware stuff. What's going on? Oh, yeah, you know, I'm just running through showing everybody your amazing <laughs> CRT collection. I've only made it to the second one. That was uh, Dave, the show showman right there. He's he's the man in charge, the man who owns all these lovely CRTs. Got the VCR DVD player combo on a 20 inch flat, flat screen Toshiba. See, we got any good inputs down there? Wow, look at that. I, I don't even I don't even think we've got anything better than composite video on that, so that might be a disappointment for that one. Next, we've got just a good old-fashioned RCA tube. These guys are really great. And the good thing about them is usually you can use them in arcade cabinets if you have an issue. Now, this is, next to that is a JVC and some trash. This JVC has a Streets of Rage 2 game going on in it. Um, now, this one is obviously not the D-Series, and it's not the L-Art or the I-Art, however they want to say that. Our first Sony of the night. This is a Trinitron that's seen its better days. I'm guessing somebody dropped that 
down. It's got a Sega Master System hooked up to it. And of course, we got just about every input you could imagine for analog back there. This is a 27 inch from 2001. We've actually got a sweet PC engine turbo graphics set up here with good old Keith Courage, right? The most common, I think, game for the uh, turbo graphics in America. And that's set up to another Sony Trinitron in better shape. Let's see what, this is a Vega. And this is a FS120 from 2005. Definitely gonna have some high-end inputs on it, uh, but a little bit newer of that Trinitron right there and the dance party's getting started in here well, some other things we got another phillips magnavox check this out with r type one on the pc core graphics cool bubble tube here phillips magnavox got another jvc this is the older jvc with the oh, look at that the super the super add-on so you can play those other six to ten games or whatever that's available I really like these older JVCs. They kind of have a good look. Another Sony, Trinitron. Now this is a D-Series. Oh yeah, look at that, Sega Saturn on the D-Series. This is a 24, 27 inch? 27 inch, I'm gonna think. Definitely looks better than the 20 inch one. Anyway, there's that, another Panasonic. <laughs> Panasonic and Saturn. It's bigger, it's better, it's better. The S and K. Kidney bean. Xeno Crisis. Nice. On a Sony Trinitron. Let's see what we've got on this Trinitron. We've got an FS100. I don't know if you can see that so well. FS100 from 2002. Plethora of inputs, and of course, we're going to be using the fronts as a composite. So, everything here is on composite. Wow, this is a big Phillips. Before we go see what it is in the front, it's got all kinds of good inputs. Phillips from. I can't see that. Where? Well, it's a 27 incher. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. Magnavox. Big flat screen. Oh, look at this. Look at this. What is this? It's an interesting navigation. I've never seen any buttons like that. What does that do? I think it's power. Oh, volume. Okay. I've never seen one of those. Look at that. So volume. And I don't know. That's what, channel? Oh, I think I just turned it off. Messing with the AV inputs. Look at me. Which one are we on? Okay, there we go. Back to Super Street Fighter. So that's interesting. I've never seen a channel checker up there like that. That's pretty cool. Oh, this looks like a sweet Trinitron. Look at that one. 3DO, baby. You gotta get in the Gex. RCA True Flat. These are fun. Magician Lord on it. You gotta love Magician Lord on a true flat. Another design with the power buttons up top. It's pretty interesting. It's like what, an FS something or other 10, 110, 120, FS 120. So it's got that flat screen and then check it out. It's got that long kind of back to it that's very, very common for that era of a Trinitron. Kind of give you that look. Dynex, baby. This is one of them good old knockoff Dynexes. Now, some of these on this end I've realized aren't really working properly. I mean, and nobody ever really messes with this stuff, unfortunately, because why? I don't know. I mean, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but why would you have any interest in playing the Odyssey when you've got a thousand different things here that's better than it? I've never seen anybody spend more than two or three minutes this is the Intellivision 2 phone system I mean sorry controller and uh, it's hooked up to a dead Samsung true tech it's like the true blood of CRTs does anybody ever remember that show true blood like what the hell ever happened to that show I don't get it like it used to be the number one thing in the world and then nobody cared about it anymore it's like everybody forgot about vampires 
Good old Donkey Kong, RCA. Nothing too special there. Now this is that good old Sylvania 20 inch. Composite only, but I do like the way these look. And then there's like an Emerson version of this television, flat screen, 20 inches. Um, not the best, but not too bad. 7800, I always liked the 7800. This is the only time where you could really like pull off this goofy controller. At least it looks goofy, but it actually works pretty darn well. Another Atari just on a Magnavox, same Sylvania. This one's not working. This is like the Atari, co the place where no one, people come to just like chill out and relax. Unfortunately, not many people are coming here to play, you know, space jockey on a Magnavox in 2022. So, you know, I think that's pretty much past its prime, right? How about Crystal Quest? Atari 7800 on a Sanyo flat screen. Here's this Emerson again. Another button, but this one's not working either. And this time we got an Atari XE system, which my son was actually laughing at. He didn't understand. He was sitting there, hit the help button. Dreamcast set up over here. Love seeing that. I'm not sure what we've got for low to save, what game's going on in there, but nice little 20 inch KV here. That is a Sony from the 90s. Next to that, another Sony from the 90s with a Dreamcast and Crazy Taxi. So this is a cool little table area. GameCube set up. FS. What do you think? 120 here? Man, where are the Smash Boys at? Where's my buddy Shank? He would love to be sitting right in front of this Philips, smashing some people. And we've got another Sony. This is like mostly Sony's. We got the random Philips right here. We've got a beautiful GoldenEye set up here, and then more N64, right? GoldenEye. A little bit of Mario Kart on that 20 inch Sony. We've got a Magnavox here with DK, 20 inch. Magnavox, 20 inch. Super Nintendo. Lovely Super Mario. A lot of these Magnavoxes, look at this. These are all these smart series TVs. It looks like somebody got a good deal on five of them because I think that's how many I've run into at the show so far. So we've got a Memorex. Memorex. Look at this. We got a power button on the right. More buttons on the top. Quasar, which is an unusual one. Interesting. Our last two feature Jaguar, Kasumi Ninja, Insignia is the brand. We've got a DVD player in case you want to watch something tonight. Sony's going to finish us off here with our Alien vs. Predator. I love this game. Even though probably nobody else does, I sure do. All right, so that's your tour of all the CRTs on the floor. And I decided to do it now because it's the first night of the show. It's getting to be late. And um, there's not as many people on them right now as there probably will be tomorrow when the full big show day is. Now, one thing that is popping right now is the fight game esports section over here, which when the tournament really gets hopping in tomorrow, we'll go visit some friends over there, see if we can see what's really happening behind the curtain because uh, there's a lot of stuff going on over there. Um, all kinds of different tournaments and you know this year the fight tournament guys really brought something cool they brought a third strike uh, set up and they got a dual blast city uh, new Astro City cab that they brought I mean just look at that how cool is this this is probably the best CRT setup here is this awesome stuff we're here at day two for the big Music City Multicon. And of course, I've already done my presentation. It went great and it was a lot of fun. And uh, I didn't get to film it, but don't worry, the show promoter did. And I'll definitely let you all know when that episode of that clinic will be out because I did sit there with this lovely 1943 and kind of tear it apart and wow some people by showing them how the deflection yoke works. Uh, but as you can tell, I got something pretty goofy playing on the screen here and that's because this is my best new pickup I've got from this show and it's this 
a working Pioneer laser karaoke machine. It came with this awesome demo that just shows like two minutes of a bunch of films and a ton of like, literally like one minute of a bunch of music videos and songs, which is, which is a little bit hysterical. But again, I gotta say a special thank you to my friend who brought that to me at the show. You know who you are. And uh, he definitely gave me a good deal on that. I got it for a hundred bucks. I'm very happy about it. So definitely look for some more information on that coming in the future. But for tonight, we're gonna look at a couple of new things. We're gonna go around and we're gonna check out first this. This is the fight game section for the fight game community. I did a little bit of a second look at this here for uh, this Blast City and New Astro City last night. You saw those set up, that's just awesome. So what they got here is a nice tournament going on. It looks like we're at uh, King of Fighters over here. There's the main stage. Really crazy stuff, man. So let's go to the main stage, see if we can find somebody we know around here. There's the king, Arturo and Chris, my friends, discussing. Let's see. I showed him everything. I showed him everything. You showed him it all? Yeah. <laughs> hey, last year they had it set up on the other side, and I tried to go say hey to him. And I like they they like almost tackled me because I they like thought I was gonna trip over no, and like no, knock no. everything out and, and I was like I'm cool I know yeah, cool. <laughs> and they're like oh you're cool you're cool <laughs> you're fine yeah, you're like, I was like I promise I know him and they're like yeah, sir sure. sir sure. and they're like yeah oh and they went over and he said yeah and they're like oh okay yeah, so, come on back here. come here come here come on come on back. <laughs> Well, how about that? We're gonna go check out some stuff here with Arturo. He's getting ready for his championship match. Well, that's the end of the trip. And I'm sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger like that. But I will let you know that my buddy Art, AKA NYC Furby, he actually won his tournament. So he got first place and congratulations to you, buddy. Uh, you're the best street fighter. I know. So that was the big trip. I hope you enjoyed a look at all those amazing CRTs. And I just want to say one last thing. Uh, the best part probably about this entire trip was the opportunity to go and to see people again live and in person. I mean, it was just an awesome uh, chance to be able to meet a lot of you that came to the show. I can't say you thank you enough for sh anybody who showed up. It was actually quite a bit uh, larger turnout this year to the class I gave than any year prior, and almost 30 people were there. So that was a really good turnout for my CRT class, and I was extremely excited to give that. I think it will just lead to more opportunities down the road, hopefully, for awareness and things like that and that kind of presentation in the future. And once that has been produced and uploaded to the Music City Multicons YouTube page, then I will share it here and everywhere else on my social media platforms. But what did you think? I mean, this event is definitely the capstone or the end of the season for me as far as conventions are concerned. I won't be going to another one till 2023. So did you get a chance to go to any shows? Uh, what did you think about it? How was it? Was it better than you expected or maybe worse than you expected? Please let me know what you think with a comment below. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel and you sat all the way through this and you may want to consider subscribing if you liked anything about this video because my channel is dedicated to this style of content. We really highlight this retro, older, outdated hardware, and we can still see how it's flourishing in some modern environments, which I love to see. Again, thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you all next time with some more retro content.